This is a wing, too, even though it does not look like the usual airplane wing. The helicopter's wing, called a rotary wing, is moved through the air by spinning it rapidly. The air streaming over the rotary wing creates the force called lift. This lifting force makes the helicopter go up. But by tilting the rotary wing, as we see in this exaggerated example, the pilot can also make the helicopter go forward or in any other direction that he wishes. Now, in addition to the force of lift, the rotor is providing another force, thrust. Thrust makes the helicopter go forward. What would happen if we were to tilt the rotor even more? Now the only force the rotor is providing is thrust. In conventional airplanes, thrust does not come from a rotor, but from a propeller, like this one. The propeller works on the same principle as the rotary wing that we just saw. The propeller provides the thrust that makes the airplane go forward. The greater the thrust, the greater the forward speed. Thrust, in one form or another, is necessary to make any airplane move through the air.